Hey everybody, I'm Chris and welcome. This is the first video in what I'm calling my indie audition series. This is where I take an indie game that I haven't played much of, maybe you haven't either, and I give it a try, see if it can impress me, let you know at the end what I think and if I'm going to be playing it some more. Uh, today we're playing Don't Sink. This is a uh, little pirate game um, made by, I believe, a studio from uh, West Virginia. Um, right now, if I get this up in time, it's on sale on Steam for a mere $5 American. So you might be able to go and get your hands on it pretty cheaply if you like what you see. I will let you know if I like what I see. I'm going to uh, get out of the way here now and we're going to play some Don't Sink. All right, we're going to start a new game. You could play a normal. You could play permadeath. <laughs> oh no, I am not playing permadeath. Uh, we'll go with normal. Uh, in this uh, mode, when you die, you just go back to the last town you were in, and it's pretty easy to get started again. So, uh, so light penalties for death. Uh, ooh, they will call me Captain. Potty mouth. All right, let's uh, let's randomize a few times. To... Oh, hey, I like that. That's a cool hat. Looks like we've got a female character. I I really enjoy this. Check it out. The difference between a male character, female character, male character, female character, male character, female character. Just a few pixels. That's all it takes. A little more hips. A little little bit of a bust. All right. This looks like a pretty good captain. She's got a very dashing hat, and I am all set. And we're starting on the island of Blackshore. Ah, oh, lovely god rays and everything coming down on these fine people who apparently just like wandering out in the sun. Excellent, and here we are with our ship. So we can walk around uh, the town. There's a few little buildings we can enter. Um, they have a nice little menu down here in the bottom left corner where I can also just jump to these locations if I'm like, just just get me through here with some menu action. Uh, I've got a quest, you see in the top right, a new beginning, which is telling me to purchase some cannonballs and purchase some food and water, things you want to have when you are a pirate with a pirate ship. Hey, you're that new kid. Listen, I used to be a free spirit like you up until my ship got blown to bits. I knew I should have bought extra wood and cloth on our trip, but my mistake was the end of my pirate career. I'm not trying to take advantage of you, but I certainly would hate to lose a potentially long-term customer to the sea. You should grab at least 50 rounds of cannonballs and 100 wood planks. Alright, some helpful advice. I can buy food, ship goods and general supplies, which as far as I can tell is just medicine, which is a little funny. Whole category just for medicine. Uh, I'm gonna buy uh, five of those, which is all they have in stock. Get those cannonballs, I'm gonna get a few more. I have a decent amount of money. I have uh, 1,200 some left. You can see at the top right. So I'll grab a few extra cannonballs. There's also bombs, which do a little bit more damage. I don't know that I need those yet and we'll get some planks those are a little expensive so all right water is cheap uh, how much do I need 50 oops I didn't buy that buy beef I'm gonna start running out of money here let's get a little bit of everything some beef some carrots those are cheap Probably don't raise morale as much. Oh yeah, look, there's a morale stat there. Oh no. Oh, beef is okay for your hunger. Or good for your hunger and actually helps you with thirst a little bit. Orange is apparently a tiny bit as well. Who knew? There's only 25 I can buy here, so I'll do that. And biscuits. 25 biscuits. Everybody loves biscuits. Who doesn't love biscuits? Okay, now I've got a new quest because I just finished this one. 
Let's see if at the top. I'm supposed to travel to Crampton. Lovely island name of Crampton. And I'm gonna build at least one structure there. Let's explore the rest of this island. Come back around here at some point. I refill my stock every day. However, the amount I get depends on the market. You be careful out there. It's a beautiful world and the sea is full of adventure, but don't push your luck. Don't push my luck or I'll have to reload at the last island. Uh, okay, so at the tavern, I can spend a little bit of money to feed my crew if I land on an island and they're not fully fed. I can hire more crew, which I think I have a full uh, regiment at the moment. Recruit citizens, that applies to my island, which you'll see in a little bit. I like the jaunty music. There's a mine and a random building. What's inside the random building? A woman. Hello, young one. Lovely weather we're having, huh? What might you be doing in an old lady's home? I'm just wandering around. Would you like a biscuit? Would I? So you'll see down at the bottom right tells me I just was rewarded with a biscuit. One biscuit. And there is a shipyard here. In the shipyard, I can repair my ship if it's damaged. And I can buy a new ship if I have enough money, which, of course, I don't have enough money right now for a new ship. Corvette is the next level up. Caravel is the next level after that. They have room for more cannons, more crew, uh, and can take more damage. So that'll be a goal for us, but not for a little while. All right, I could walk all the way across this island, but I'm going to use the quick menu to go to the port. Bam. Now oh, look at this. Here's our map. All these places we could travel. And I want to go to Crampton, which is right next door. 0.2 days away. Am I sure? Yes, I am sure. So we're sailing. I need to make sure to feed my crew. If they're hungry or thirst drops to zero, they'll begin to drop like flies. Keep an eye on your crew. Okay. So you see over here on the left... Well, I traveled so fast that you didn't get a chance to see the interface. I'll have to point it out to you in a little bit later. Guess the island is empty. Well, it's mine now. I can make a profit from a bustling town of my own. Well, government isn't very pirate-like sometimes. It's a necessary evil. Let's take a look at what we can build to get this place looking more like a town. Okay, so I'm supposed to build at least one structure here. And I have my menu down in the left. There's a build option and a govern option. So let's go to build. And look, I have just one option. It costs $50, and it's a new general store. Clank, 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 clank. Okay. Uh, now I can go there. I also now have this uh, govern uh, this little mini screen down here where I can set the proportion of uh, sort of effort that's assigned to these different areas, farming, mining, trading, and defense. We'll worry about that later. Let's go find our new general store. Oh, you notice how the, uh, the sky is getting a little sunsetty back there? It's sort of red sky. There's actually a little uh, day-night cycle in the game, which is kind of a neat little addition. Welcome to the Crampton General Store. Thanks for fronting the money to get the store up and running. I'll be working hard to help keep this town supplied. On an unrelated note, I've been want wanting to travel to Abloco. Supposedly there are some beautiful jungle islands in that region. Thanks for the information, bud. Alright, so I don't have a farm, so I can't build get food here. All I can get are wood planks. That's as much as I can build or buy in my boring little general store on my boring little island right now. I have a new mission. It's Pirate Fortress to build a structure or build every structure that's available, and to reach a population of 50. Oh, hi there. Real quick, I'm going to say hello to my kitty cat, Gabby. Hi, Gabby. Okay. Off we go. Oh, I was going to check and see just what does it take to build these things. Tavern is 1,000. Shipyard's 2,000. Farm is 1,500. All right, we're going to have to go get some money.
well, let's see. There's some places that are close. There's some places that are a little bit further away. Let's head down to Gaspacho. Yes, I am sure. Okay, so... Oh, every once in a while my guys like to talk about stuff. Crampton, a completely empty island. Unbelievable. Captain Pottymouth might be the first pirate to fund the construction of an island like that. Okay, so you see on the left I'm going to run out of time here again. Oh, especially because I'm going to have to fight somebody. The Dolphin Hunters. Okay, so the way this works is... Uh, there's several actions I can take. You'll see them once this tutorial box disappears. There's several actions I can take that correspond to the four actions on my D-pad. Uh, the main one I'm going to do is just attack, which is launching uh, cannonballs at them. Uh, so I hold down in the direction of the particular action, and when it sort of fills up, then I can do that action by hitting the A button. Make sure to keep an eye on your enemy's actions, and if you ever get into a dangerous situation, you can always flee. Okay, so right is attack. So you see that circle fills up, and then I can fire. And so can they. So hopefully we'll beat them. I think these guys are probably going to be pretty easy for us. Down would be flee. Up would be boarding. So you can go and you can fight them uh, directly if you have more crew. And if you think you're a pretty good fencer, because it, like the old uh, Sid Meier's Pirates, it has you uh, fighting as the captain against the other ship's captain if you board. You can also repair your ship. Which so far, when I've done it, has been not very uh, effective for the time it takes. You can repair your ship, or you can fire more cannons, and you just end up getting your butt kicked if you stop to repair. Maybe there's something I'm missing, but... Alright, here's Gaspacho. It's a lovely evening. There's stars in the sky. And here we are. And look, somebody. Okay, here's, here's, here's a little complaint. Very small little complaint I've got. When I'm here, I can talk to this person. When I'm here, I can't. Why here? Not there. Why here? Not there. Why here? Not there. You're too close to me, son. All right. Aye, lad. Want to help me out? I can pay you quite well. If you're offering gold as a reward, then I'm here to help. There's a small crew of pirates led by a well-known food thief. He doesn't take anything else, just food. The problem with him taking all of our food is that it means the town folk can't get food anywhere besides the general store, and not all of us can afford them prices. That rotten thief only travels between here and Marina, so if you journey either way, you'll likely run right into him. The ship is called the Rusty Bucket. Good luck, lad. All right, so I've got a new quest. Oh, so this is cool. So this is a nice little UI for those quests. If I hold down the Y button, I can switch between my different quests and pick which one I want to be the active one. So I can say, make that active. Ah, Pirate Fortress is my active one now. Okay. I just walked into the tavern and another quest. You filthy thief, how do you sleep at night? I sleep guilt-free, and do you know why? It's because I'm not a thief, you idiot. I'm surprised you haven't scared away all of your patrons. It's probably best that you leave before I throw you out. Hey, you two need to calm down before I throw both of you out. It would be in your best interest not to get involved unless you want to leave this place without your fingers. That's the words of a very reputable gentleman there. While your business is respected, I did not ask for your help. I own this place, and if... Do you think I'm afraid of a tavern keeper and a balding snake oil salesman? Balding? If you don't want to be accused of being a thief or whatever you two were fighting about, then explain your business here. I'm just here picking up supplies for delivery to Tenier. And I was explaining that I've been... And that I've been warned that the route is guarded by some unknown armada. How did that lead to him being an accused thief? He's lying. What would an armada of pirates want with some manure? He probably has a bounty on his head. I just want to get this drop-off resolved and move on. Look, I'll pay you 500 gold right now, and then you get another 3,000 when you complete the, your the delivery. You're a big, tough pirate, right? That sounds pretty dangerous, even for me. But maybe if you could find another 500 gold in your pocket, I could do the job. 500 more? How am I the thief here? Fine. I would never trust a pirate with cargo this expensive, but I don't happen to know anyone else with a death wish. Apparently I've got a death wish. Hooray for death wishes. Okay, so here we are. I could spend a little bit of money to feed my crew. I think that's probably just worth it. Oh, one of the things I can do there is recruit citizens. Now, it's expensive, from what I recall. Yeah, 150 per. There's only two people here anyway. 
but that brings more people to my uh, island of Crampton. So that increases the population there, and then I think they can essentially earn more money, because every time I go back to Crampton, I'm going to get a little bit of money. I'm not going to spend my money on that yet, though. People bopping about. Pretty good little pixel art. Kind of uh, kind of funky uh, style, sort of exaggerated style. Like, what's up with that cactus? But all these different islands, different regions have uh, a little bit of character, which is cool. Okay, there's not much on this island. But I got like a couple more missions, so I don't think I want to do this dangerous cargo one, though. Food thief. Well, let's try it. You know what? The worst that can happen is I'm defeated and I have to come back here. So we'll head to Marina, and there's a chance along the way that we'll run into this pirate. The food thief. The rusty bucket. Oh, hey. Whoa. I'm glad I didn't run into him because I was trying. I just noticed I really needed to repair my ship, and I only managed to do a little bit. I hit the left trigger button, and that spends some of my wooden planks to repair my ship hull. So that's how that works. <laughs> what do people in here? You look anxious. What's wrong? What if I told you an entire island of good people are going to die, and we can't save them? Hmm, that sounds like a ludicrous hypothetical situation. What's actually going on? I know it sounds ridiculous, but that's what's actually happening right now. A stranger gave me the cure to a silent disease that will strike both Sandago and Shimogawa. He told me I can only save one island and that I'd have to forever live with the guilt of not having saved the other island. That's a lot to take in. I'm not sure what you should do. Call me a coward, but this is on you now. I can't make a decision like that. I'd rather die than know I let all those innocent people die. I want no part of this. Yeah, that's cool, I guess. I don't know that I want that at all. What are you looking at, you peasant? Ain't you never seen a real man before? Hmm, I just haven't seen such a powerful display of masculinity. There'd be no shame in wearing a skirt. I've murdered men whilst dressed like a woman. Go for it, man. Oh, I can believe that. Okay, I'm not sure what the point of that was, but all right. He's a swarthy man with a with a skirt. Cool. Ah, different types of food. Let's just get a little bit. Oh, there's not even that much to buy anyway. A little bit of garlic, a little bit of ah, ale. So it seems like we need ale, right? How much? How expensive does that get? Oh, we do 30 ale. Just the five. Doing okay on food. I haven't really used my food up, actually. Uh, okay, cloth is for repairing your sh your sails if they get damaged, which they can get damaged by different types of attacks. So, we'll get a little bit of cloth. Oh, I already had some. When did I get that? I know I'm going to be spending some of this, so I'm just going to spend money on planks because I need to repair my... And I'll get, I'll get five more medicine. Every once in a while, you get an event that is basically, um, that is basically, oh, some of you guys get sick and you have to spend some medicine. I assume if you don't have it, it's bad news. Ah, uh, they need some supplies sent to Crampton. Well, sure, it'll be nice. However, keep in mind deliveries must be made within ninety days. After that, payment will be reduced drastically. Oh, I kind of missed that, but all right. So, I just took a delivery mission I need to do within 90 days. That's not too hard. Look at all these colorful people. Alright, back to the port. I did not run into my... the rusty bucket. Let's head... No, let's just head up to Crampton. I can come back down and try to find them later. Okay, I need to repair... Oh, I guess pirates can be delivery boys too. Just seems a bit civilized to be doing delivery jobs. Yeah, who wants to be civilized? Okay, so I'm left trigger. Ah! Powdered biscuit. It takes time to repair, and I just ran out of it. So that's putting me at a big disadvantage here. I hope I don't regret this. Ah! Let's see if there had been a shipyard at the island I was on, I could have 
repaired there instantly. Ooh. It's gonna be very, very close. I think I'm reloading a little faster than him. Ah, and he was trying to repair it. You're silly. Weren't you listening to me earlier? That's not worth doing. Okay, really need to... Oh, I was pushing the wrong button to try to repair. Seagull divers. Nobody would believe it if you told them. Seagulls are diving down from the air and tearing through your sails like bullets. Perhaps they have a negative disposition toward pirates. They're like, uh, they're like privateer seagulls. Alright, healing. <coughs> Trying to heal. Oh well. Hey, I just got a bunch of money. Which probably means I can build a shipyard. Let's see, what do I want to spend my money on though? So if I build a farm and a mining camp, the farm lets basically means I can buy food from the uh, general store, and the mining camp means I can buy cannonballs. But, you know, just because I want to be able to repair my ship cheaply, I'm going to do those two things. And maybe I'll get a new... Maybe I'll get a new delivery job from here. Oh, something special over here. A bottle. Inspect the bottle. There's a message in the bottle. It reads... I've been wounded in a bar fight. These may very well be my last moments. Please, whoever finds this, send this to the sea. I pray it makes its way to my family. The ocean currents on the eastern end of Crampton should send the bottle off in the right direction. Perhaps if this bottle reaches my family, they can reward whoever carried out my last wishes. Okay, well, this sounds a little bit crazy, but who am I to ignore a man's last wishes? Maybe I'll run into the family someday. I'll include a note of my own, just in case. Okay, so there's a new little quest I can do. Feed my crew. Replenish the one crew I'm missing. So it's kind of funky. I'm on my own island, but I can recruit citizens from here for my island. That would take all my money. I would like to do that, but it'll take all my money. I think I'm recruiting them from the region, I think is what it says, which is sort of a strange, strange way to think of it, but that's okay. Now in my shop, I can still only buy wood planks. I got 140, hopefully that's enough. Delivery job. Yeah, just get spacho, perfect. Oh, and here's where I can throw the bottle in the water. Off you go! I do hope that reaches his family one day. I left them my name, so if ever I meet them, I can claim my reward for walking this bottle a couple of paces. Dying to a wound in a bar fight, what a horrible way to die. I think I'd like to go up in an explosion. Right answer. Okay, complete that quest. Got nothing from it, right? Because I'll probably get my reward later, I guess. Ooh, pretty expensive to repair my ship, it was pretty damaged. Ooh, Brigantine is like the big boat. I don't know if I've seen one bigger than that. There might be a, some, but that's the biggest I've seen. Oops, all right, I'm gonna leave. Head to the port. Let's go to Gaspacho. Do, do, do. Sailing, sailing. Oh, see, there you go. Everybody got sick. So that cost me three medicine. Now, if you notice, my hunger and my thirst are going down. So they're at 87% now. So if I wanted to, I could use this button to pull up the Feed the Crew menu which where I can spend some of my food to improve their hunger, etc. There's also this handy auto feed option you see at the bottom of this menu. If I hit that, boom, it just spends some stuff and usually brings them up a ways. Left them a little bit thirsty, but I think it's because it's really not that low yet. Quest completed. So complete that delivery job, that's great. I don't know that there's much to do here, but let's come in. Sure, two bucks to feed my crew. Now I've got money. Let's recruit these four people. Gotta start doing that eventually. Well, maybe I should be saving up for those other buildings that I'm gonna build on my island. What else?
else is there here? Oh no, just the tavern. I'm wandering to nowhere. Alright, let's head to Marina and see if by some chance we run into the Rusty Bucket on the way there. There they are. Ooh, that's a bigger ship than mine. Uh, we got the same amount of crew. I don't know though. We might have more cannons. Doesn't seem like it though. Oh no, he just did more damage to me than I did. Oh, it's kind of close. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna board him. My ship is smaller. It's faster. His shots will miss while I'm on the way in. 15 crew versus 15 crew means it's up to my fencing ability is really going to be it's really going to determine what happens. Fencing is a little bit fiddly, but I can dodge high, dodge left, or dodge back basically and dodge down and I can attack up uh high, low and and in the middle basically. So it gives me a little warning. So Oh, see, there you go, he's attacking me. Ah. I totally failed to... You can sort of see our hit points, or I think it's actually our crew. <laughs> he beat him and all his little bits go flying into the air. I was not expecting that, but apparently that's what happens to little pixel people. Hello there. So I'm definitely going to have to get a bunch of crew back. I can get a new delivery job. Nikra, sure. Uh, okay, food goes down really slowly, so which is good. Um, what was that? Hmm, garlic. I didn't have any of that before. Um, the food goes down pretty slowly, I think because my crew is small, so I don't think it's until I have a whole lot of folks that, uh, my crew, that I really need to worry so much about food. Which is kind of nice, not having to, like, get super fiddly about it, at least not yet. The food I have should last for quite a while. What else is on this island? I should just check. No, it's just that store. Um, so Nikra is over here. Wait a second. Uh, let me look at my... Oh, right, I've got... Okay. So, missions. Develop Crampton, right? Deliver the special manure to Denier. They kind of implied that's going to be a difficult mission, so I'm going to wait on that one. Food thief needs to be shown justice. What do I need to do for that one? Talk to the old man in gazpacho. Why do I not remember that? Is that what they told me to do? I'm confused about that one. My delivery job is to go to Nakura. I guess I'm going to go back to this gazpacho. Oh, so is that the guy who gave me the mission? Yeah, this guy who gave me the mission. Okay, good. Now I can change that in. Oh, I need to repair my ship. Hey, bud. Did you sink those thieving scumbags? Yes, sir. You won't be seeing them again. Thanks, lad. This will help out the folks around here immensely. Ching! Money that I'm going to go spend on my island. Ooh, lots of money. I like it. So I head to Nikra, or should I go up to Crampton? We'll go up to Crampton. Looks like I should feed folks. Auto feed. So 69, nice uh, percent thirst. Let's spend one water as well. Yeah, it brings up to 100. That's why they didn't. Captain told me about a bottle they sent off into the ocean. Some poor guy got stabbed in a bar fight or something, and his last wish was for this message to be sent off to his family. Yes, those are the facts in the case. Okay, welcome to my town. Look, I got little people. Hello, people. Feed. Hire crew. I definitely need. And there's only three people here. That's not going to make folks on my island go away, is it? I guess we'll find out. No, I saw four citizens. 
I could also recruit a few more of them, but no. I'm going to build something new. Build. Mm. Build the mining camp. Because I just realized it'd probably be good for me to check how many. Aw, what? I guess it'll take a little bit of time before they're selling cannonballs. Silly. Let's repair my ship. Oh, it is repaired. Right. Oh, yeah, nothing I want to buy here. Is my mine. Uh, where was I going in for what for? I don't remember. So off we go. We'll go to Nikra. A long trip, almost a full day. 1,200 miles. You can, if you notice, there's the option to attack these towns. I don't know what that does. I feel like I'm not powerful enough yet to do something like that. That seems like crazy talk. Whale skimmer, you felt your ship suddenly jerk as if it had collided with something massive. You watched that massive something swim off. It was a whale, and that whale caused some serious structural damage to your vessel. Well then. Oh, what a lovely sunset. Enemy pirates, the reptilians. They're on a schooner like mine. I think it's a schooner. Got a couple more dudes, because I was not able to recruit compliment. Hopefully that doesn't hurt. Come back to hurt me. Why Why can't I? Ah, I totally ran out of cannonballs! <laughs> that was what I needed. That's why. I... Hey, look! This is what happened when you get, happens when you get defeated. Alright, let's, let's, let's jump back in for just a little bit longer. See a little bit more of the game. And then I'll give you my verdict. We're heading to Nicara again. Oh wait, no, I should have totally headed somewhere where they actually have cannonballs. We'll see if I run into an enemy again. Hey, it feels good to be on the same ship as a vigilante. Those pesky food thieves deserve to be brought down. So my crew likes that I took those guys out. Food is down to 50%, but we're there. Bling! Oh yeah, cool new island. Wow, it's beautiful here. The trees are so colorful, the mountains feel calming and protective. I would have become a pirate sooner if I knew it would be full of breathtaking views. Yeah, definitely no, like, dirty, scummy bars and stuff like that. It's all beautiful views, huh? Feed my crew. Sure, I'll recruit as many citizens as I can. I don't know that I really need them right now, honestly. I want to buy those buildings more, so we'll just get a few. Cannonballs, please! Cannonballs. Just get a bunch of cannonballs. I don't want to run out again. That's not cool. I'm doing pretty good on wood. Okay. Food? Pretty good. Medicine? Good. New delivery job. Itaborahi. Gazuntite. <laughs> Oops, somebody to talk to. Excuse me, lad, but you wouldn't happen to be one of them pirate types. I guess you could say that, but I try not to be the bad kind. Oh, a good pirate? Well, then you wouldn't mind helping take care of some bad pirates. What are these sailors doing that makes them deserving of death? They... They're bullies. How so? They have been boarding merchant ships and saying really mean stuff to them, as, as well as stealing their oranges. Have you ever had scurvy? It's not a good experience. Okay, so you want me to go murder an entire crew because they are being mean to people? 
I mean, I've seen people stabbed in the tavern just for making a joke. All right, I'll take care of them. I'll be back when the deed is done. See, bully. Travel between Nikra and Sujima, it says, and defer defeat the ship called the Sea Jerk. You look like you've seen a ghost. What's wrong? I keep hearing these sounds from the house next door. I know I must sound crazy, but I'm certain that this is real. If you have a way for me to get into the house, I'll check it out for you. Happy to chase out the squirrel living in there. Here I have a crowbar. You can use it to pry you can I have a crowbar you can use to pry the door open. Be careful though, it's a bit shoddy. Which probably means I'll be able to use it once and then it's gone. Okay. There's a naked guy. Are you okay? You look um well you're naked. They're after me. I have to hide. They can see the clothes. I have to hide. All right, buddy, calm down. Stop being crazy for one second and explain what's going on. Them. I don't know what they're called. I just know that they are watching me. I need my special drink to make them go away. Does your special drink have a name? What is it, and where do I find it? Ale. Her name is Ale, and she tastes like love. As in the alcoholic beverage? Ale! Oh, God, they're everywhere. So, ale. I mean, I have ale on my ship. Is this what you want? My ale! No, wait, that's not it. Hmm. Okay. Let's try going back here. Can't talk to her. Uh... Why do people enjoy making others miserable? Okay, she's the one that I've got the quest for. Do 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 giant leaves and bamboo stalks. And the end of the island. So my quest says bring the man ale. Hmm. Let me try going to the tavern. And seeing if maybe there's a special kind of ale I can buy. Do 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 do. Nope. All right. Let's see. Missions. Sea bully. Deliver to Itaboraki. Oh, I've never went to these two islands that I'm maybe supposed to go to. Shimigawa or Sandago. I guess I can do one of those. Which one? Which one? Which one? Shimagawa. Just arbitrarily, because that's all they're giving me to go on here. <gasps> the angry dinghy. I think you're angry. Ooh, they're firing a different kind of uh, thing at me. And they're coming to board me. Ooh, they actually took out some of my guys. Well, that's not good because now I gotta fight real well and stuff. Ow. They do not give me much time to dodge. So when I see that. When I see that red flash, that tells me that she's attacking me. I'm just going to try attacking backwards in all cases. Whoa, I'm on a roll. Ah, buster into pieces. Oh, I got a bunch of stuff. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. Treasure Island. You look off into the distance and spot it on Treasure Island. Will you visit? Ooh, why? Yes, I will. Loner Island. Cool. A little special encounter. Hello, stranger. Do you live here all by yourself? Look, you best turn around and leave me now if you want to keep your limbs on your body. Oh, well, all right. I'll just head back to my ship, I guess. Well, that's no fun. Nothing else I can do here? Mm. No treasure, I guess.
Hello, Shimagawa. Here's the person to talk to. You have the cure, right? Yes, here, take it quickly. I pray this cure saves us, thank you. So I guess I just let, you know, Sandago just go to hell. Feed my crew. Hire crew, because they beat me up. That's a bunch of my money. I want to bring this money back to my island. We'll go back. We'll inspect the rock. Why is there a single rock here? This seems pretty lazily placed. Like the earth was in a rush to build this island. Huh. Almost feels like they're making fun of themselves as developers or something. <laughs> Putting a rock there. I lost her at sea. Our ship went up in flames and all I remember is hearing her call my name. I passed out from the fumes and when I awoke I was face down on the beach here in Shimagawa. If you find her and tell her I'm here, we can reward you with something special. Our ship went down near Sandago. Oh, lost love. Do I need any stuff? I don't know that I need any stuff. So we have a ship that went down near Sandago. Well, that's new. Lots of folks here. Question is, is there a ship right? Yep. Hey, stranger, mind if I ask your name? People call me Captain Pottymouth. Whoa, I hope I'm not dreaming this time. A while ago, you sent a bottle to the sea? Aye, I did. I found it in a tavern in Crampton. Captain, you're a hero. My dear mother and I were so grateful when we found the bottle. Couldn't believe it. But alas, our family seems to have the worst luck. My mother has been kidnapped by a crew sailing a ship named Sweet Mistress. That's some rotten luck. I can pay you handsomely. Running a shipyard has its benefits. I'll even pay you some of it up front. It'd be foolish of me to turn down gold and an opportunity to sink some mean pirates. What do I have to do? Travel between Shimagawa and Denier. Defeat the Sweet Mistress. I would love to do that mission, but I think it's time for me to... Head back to Crampton. Hopefully not any big fights on the way. Oh. <laughs> just a merchant. Is he going to be like really easy to beat? He's just one crew. I'm going to go board him. He doesn't seem to have any... <laughs> he doesn't seem to have any cannons. Hello, just a merchant. Whack. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. <laughs> Whoa, I got a ton of stuff. Including rubies and sapphires. Oh. Oh, I bet I can sell those. On Shimagawa, I saw the captain stop and monologue about a rock. Who does things like that? Am I worse for watching and commenting on it? Yes, you are. Don't question the captain. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm gonna build some stuff. I'm gonna build my farm. Ah, and that completes that quest. I'm happy to see that this island has become so prosperous. I've really come far and from so little. My parents would be very proud of me if they could see me now. Sometimes we feel the need to prove ourselves, prove to ourselves that we really are this great person, that we are really truly unique and inspirational to others. But this feeling of fulfillment I get when I help others by providing a safe place such as this town. It's what makes me feel special. I'm the protagonist of my own story, and whether others see it that way or not, I'm the good guy. I can't tell if that's supposed to have a little bit of tongue-in-cheek or if it's uh, sincere, but either way, I can upgrade the storage. don't really know that I need to. So now on my govern screen, you see I'm making $23 of profit, and it's costing me 8 upkeep. I have 100% happiness. My attack risk is 0 Populate, my population is seven, excuse me. So, I could sort of change the amount of uh, percentage of sort of, I don't know if it's time and effort or whatever that I'm applying to these things, but no reason to change it now. I'm going to go to the general store and sell, because look, I figured out where... What else goes in the general in the 
um, general supplies. It's sapphires. These are often used for trades or just showing off your wealth. Well, I'm going to sell them. I got 10 rubies. Cool, look, money. Yay, money. Okay, I'm going to end the audition there. Don't worry, after I faded out, you didn't miss much. I wandered around my island a little bit, but there wasn't a whole lot more to do. So, how did this audition go? What do I think? Well, first of all, don't sink. What is this game exactly? I think of it as a cute, simple pirate RPG. Uh, in a way, it reminds me of like a miniature version of Sid Meier's Pirates. Now, some people may not be familiar with that game because it's now been quite a few years since a version of it was released. Uh, originally, uh, was out in the late 80s, maybe 1990. I think there was a version around 2010. So if you haven't played it, you can be forgiven for that, but you should check it out. Uh, that is a pirate game with uh, much more robust simulation than this, uh, but also a little less story-driven, more kind of create-your-own-story. Uh, sandboxy in a similar way, but m much larger world, more open, more strategic. So this is this is just simpler than that, and it's cuter. So what are the benefits of that approach? Well, one thing is I just find this game really charming. Um, you know, it's got a, a great look. It's this pixel art look, with these very uh, uh, interesting randomized characters. Uh, but besides the pixel art, it's also got some modern style effects. You see reflections and blur and glow, transparency. That gives it, I think, a really unique uh, look. There's also some humor to it and a lot of lightheartedness. Now, when I say humor, I don't know that this is exactly a game you go to for the jokes. We're not necessarily talking about a Tim Schafer game or uh, a Rod, Ron Gilbert game like Monkey Island or something like that, necessarily, or like uh, West of Loathing or something like that that's really kind of all about the jokes. But at least it keeps it light and it keeps it fun. Another thing about this game is it is small. It's clearly not large, unless there's something I'm missing, and if there is, I will let you guys know, but it looked like you saw the whole map. There were, what, maybe 20 locations to visit, um, a bunch of quests from each one, and a, a way to build up your little town, uh, definitely ways to attack other towns. Stuff There was a lot of stuff we didn't see, but it, this is not an enormous game, and you know what? That might be a, a, a minus in your book, but it's a big plus in mine. I'm happy to have a game where I feel like in a couple hours I might be able to really uh, experience a lot, and I'm guessing finish this in probably just a few hours total. That's a good thing for me. Something I was really surprised at is there's some really good UI choices in here. I really like the quest uh, interface that shows me one set of objectives that are usually pretty clear, but I can get in there and pick something new pretty easily. I really liked how that worked. Also, just the island interface walking around, the way it could be a menu, it could be uh, a level, um, that worked for me. Uh, there were some bad things in the UI, and a lot of that came down to more controls than on-screen interface. In particular, their use of the shoulder buttons and the triggers. Designers, you got to be careful with that stuff because it is almost never intuitive. It's never going to be obvious what exactly you need to do uh, to activate those. Um, they're just not, you can't treat them like another face button. If we're on the topic of things that didn't quite work, I guess I have to say I find combat lacking. It's not that it's not fun, but it's pretty brainless. When it comes to ship-to-ship -ship combat, uh, there's some trade-offs built in that I just don't think are balanced. Maybe that changes later in the game. Uh, and sword fighting, it goes too fast. There's not good enough uh, feedback. It's not. It's just not tight enough uh, to be a fun arcade experience, even though it's actually almost exactly like fencing in... Sid Meier's Pirates. Somehow they need to look a little more closely at Sid Meier's Pirates and see what the heck was going on there to make that work. So if we're talking about gameplay just generally, I just say, you know what, it's fun, but it's basic. And basic may sound like a bad thing, but let me tell you what's good about that basic gameplay. It gives you a lot of opportunities to surprise the player. I loved the little surprises here. I love little things 
uh, that would happen in the artwork. I love the uh, all the different characters that you'd run into, uh, the different quests, the fact that I could just be sailing along and then suddenly I uh, have the opportunity to land on some treasure island and find some uh, treasure, or had a quest where I just picked up a bottle and threw it in the ocean. Uh, these things really, really worked for me, and I think might be the best thing about this game, and one of the reasons that I am looking forward to playing more. Uh-oh, I just spoiled my conclusion. What do I think of this audition? Well, this game, Don't Sink, absolutely gets a callback for me. I will be playing this some more in the future, for sure. Uh, I'm hoping that you've been intrigued by what, uh... I've shown you of Don't Sink, and if you really like it, you definitely should get a copy for yourself. Support these indie developers who are making really cool new things. Well, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this indie audition, my first indie audition video. Um, I hope you're as excited as I am for there to be more of these. Uh, there will definitely be, coming, uh, be more coming in the near future. Uh, if you have some comments, Post them down below, please. I'd really like to hear what you think, what worked, what didn't. Did I mumble too much? I feel like I mumble all the time. I've got to figure out how to stop that. And uh, if you want to talk to me on Twitter, you can find me at Deck9 underscore Floyd. All right, thanks again for watching. Hey, join me next time for another Indie Audition. And in the meantime, hug an Indie Dev for me. Bye, everybody.